Good afternoon, morning, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, brothers and sisters. This is episode 5 of the Wacky Random Challenge. We move on to the first of the road A's, the Aerial Atom 500. Woo, my, depending on the combination, this could be interesting. Right, you know the deal by now. Uh, oh, I haven't actually loaded any of the wheels. Let's see where we're going first. We are going to... Alton Park Island. Not a clue on that one. Okay. Let's have a quick look at that. Alton Park Island. I don't even think I've ever, ever raced at Alton Park in any way, shape or form, but... Hmm, okay. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything to me, if I'm quite honest, but uh, there we go. Right, let's have a look at the weather. It is going to be... Cloud. Okay. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to need the practice session on the main basis of I don't know this track at all. Is that that's coming through, yep. So, right, yes, good. Uh, 25, is that as many as I'm allowed? Yes, it is. 10 minutes warm up. Okay, let's go. Do not know this track at all. So. <laughs> Haven't plugged the wheel in. That's going to get me a grand fat nowhere. Oops. Let me just pause. Oh, I can't pause it. Oh, I'll just that. Count for a few seconds whilst I <laughs> plug the wheel in. I can't believe I've completely forgotten to do that. I are buffoon! I are buffoon as other people leave the pits. Oh, we've got a huara, a couple of lichens, roof, another huara, CCR3, a radical, gumpet. Delivery I've got in this. Hmm, not bad. Right, easy on the gas. Oh wow, this uh, takes you quite a long way before it gives you the wheel. Whoa! That was barely half throttle. Ah, now the GT3 season has been here. I think it was last season. We were here at Alton Park, yes, come to think of it. And it was in the wet, if I recall. Yes, it was, and I tried to drive this in the Z4. Now, we didn't do this little cut through bit. It was the international version. So, uh, I had lied, I do, I have driven here, but I have not raced here. Come on, tyres, give me some grip here. Excuse me, Mr. Roof. Come to think of it, I might... Yeah, I've done a wacky racing session here. So I have raced here, but not for a long time. Whoa. Okay, but shouldn't be too difficult for me to get uh, my teeth into. Which, uh, which set of cars this is going to favour this track, the, uh, the cornering monsters or the, the speed monsters? I don't know. We'll see when I come to race on it, I suppose. That's a Pagani, this is flew by the other way. Dun, 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 dun. Whoops! Sorry, Ruth. 12 hours just ploughed in the back of. Oh. I think I do all right here. There's a gumpet. This is going to favour the cornering monsters, I think. There's no really big long straights. 
Whoa, hey! That's okay, it was perfectly intentional. Oh, without any kind of traction control, wow, this thing is hard. <laughs> well, that's in the dry. Whoops! Oh, too early again. Yeah. Oh, there, Mr. Lycan. Two Lycans. There's a screaming Bugatti on the other side. Oops. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey. This was always a corner I struggled with, that chicane there. It was always too hot going into that, which compromised me trying to get through it. Even Mr. Huara, oh! Barge you off the road. Terribly sorry. Even with fully warmed up tyres, this thing <laughs> slides more than anything. Is more than a slippery thing. It's so bumpy. So, so bumpy. We're on 24 2. Okay, that was actually intentional because I'm going to skip the session. Skip to end of session. To the race! Lycan, Gampet, Pagani. I was pretty good with that launch. Ooh. Coming through! Oh, there's a horrible pink roof uh, CTR3 there. Ooh. Ah, radical! <laughs> oh dear. Bang! <laughs> Bots inventing their own lines again! Whoa! Oh no, sorry Gumpet. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> uh oh, bad, 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 bad! Whoa! I did wonder for a brief second whether I could drift that, but as it, as it was, the car snapped straight again. Come on, then, Mr. Roof. Oh, come on! Whoa, wheel spinning! On the outside! Yeah, this is definitely one for the cornering monsters. It's fine for this car. Another pink roof. Excuse me. Hang on to that just about. Radical hand, I think uh, it is indeed an atom up there. Not surprised at all. Excuse me. Not a bad car track combination, this one. I mean, if it was, 
I would imagine the gun pit, the lights of the gun pit, are really going to struggle here. With the uh, little flying flea, as I once nicknamed it, Gary and Atom, will do just fine. Whoa! Oh my goodness me, that's early. Drifting! Kind of. Was going well until I panicked. <laughs> Ow! Let's try that again. <laughs> Oops! Oh dear! Come on, get back in the rhythm, let's go. A lot of uh, British horses trying to get into the tarmac. I'm not sure how many there are in the uh, in the V8 500. Is it 500? I think that's what the 500 signifies. Is how many horsepower? Ow! 500 horsepower V8 in something that weighs about as much as a toilet brush. Where we go, where we go, let's go. Come on, Mr. Radical. What you got? Breaking too early and then not enough. <laughs> well done me. It's almost like my car is determined to drift around that turn. I'm starting to get used to the driver line not being there. But some cars are... Uh, there are... I've said it before and I'll say it again. There are some cars I am absolutely dreading. Yeah, some... Respectively, easy cars can be made considerably more difficult depending on the uh, track weather conditions. A nice little drift there. Like this here in the wet wouldn't be as bad, for instance. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a, a, a weird drift going on there, and I am snaking everywhere. Can't get the nose back under control. Fellow area Latin has run off into the distance. As we had in episode two, the uh, go kart in the wet is uh, nigh on impossible. If I ran that same vehicle at that same track in the dry, I would fully envisage I would do very differently. But that's not what we're going to do. It's not going to be a case of let's run it one way and then run the exact opposite. It kind of negates some of the randomness of this series. Breaks a bit early there. And we go. Whoa. Let's go. See if I can catch that atom. Gently feather the gas and off we go. Halfway through the session. straightens up quite a bit like I've got uh, stability control on. Which you can clearly see I do not. I didn't try the drift this time. Uh, flattened advert ball, that was probably me. How 
was a pretty well timed brakes there. I was a bit tentative on the brakes there because again not wanting to lock up. Whoops. Oh watch those gear changes. It's amazing how differently a car behaves with or without uh, things like tractor control. Oh yeah. I know that was only a tiny little slide, but I, I'm quite impressed with those. I don't do the whole drifting thing. I'm not good at it. I think that's been proved many a time. So when I get even a little one right, I'm uh, I'm quite pleased about it. Rexar wasn't that a character from World of Warcraft lore? Whoops! Someone at Essa, someone at SMS is a World of Warcraft fan. Assuming that's what that actually said, I think that's what it said. Oh, goodness me. Power on understeer there. Come on, Atom! Whoops, bit late. Thank you, Gravel. Go. Not a place I want to be catching a car right here. That'll do. I've been pondering on the bot difficulty level and it is entirely possible that I will have two different uh, bot difficulty levels one for wet one for dry because I want the bots to be challenging but beatable not just you know run off into the distance beatable you know I have to fight my fight my way through the pack is one thing because you're always going to have a, a spread in the field, you know, the bottom end's always going to be a couple of seconds off the pace at the top end. Yes, of course you are, that's fine. Whoops! Of course, in the wet, they are considerably more difficult. Well, there's the back end of the field again. I say I don't want to be lapping the field, but then second place is right with me, so... Oh, dear. There's another thing, I'm not used to not having ABS. Oh, someone's taking those cones out. Yeah, I'll take that, uh, cut track penalty. Whoa, boing! I bet you it's the more powerhouse cars at the back here. There's a CTR3. Whoops! Was it a CTR? No, it's a CTR. It's a CTR, isn't it? I've forgotten. What was the RT12R? I, I, uh, I can never remember. No, it's the RT12R. The CTR is the the old one. The CTR3 is the one that looks like the Porsche GT. Yeah, so that's a, a, an RT12R. He's miles behind the field. Oh dear, that's running wide. It's really interesting how these cars behave without the driver aids. That sounds like a really obvious statement, but again, with my skill level, such as it is, I've always had them, I've always used them in some way, shape or form. I mean, the driver line not being there is still a really alien thing, but I'm beginning to get used to it. Look, you know, looking far more towards... Uh, oh, someone's had, a tr someone's had a problem somewhere. You know, the physical markings of the track. Oh dear, there's a gumper on the uh, infield there. Again, Zahuara, so it's all the powerhouses back here. Ow! Blue flags, sunshine! No. I have actually done this track in a Lycan, and that was very hard work. And again, that was a, an old wacky race. I did say Rexar, that board. I was right in that one. Yeah, that was an old wacky racing session from a long time ago, my old wheel. 
it was a pig to steer. Well, it always is a pig to steer, but uh, it didn't do well. It didn't fare well here. So here's a CTR3. Got in this group here. That's a Gumper. That's the last of the three there, I can see. See, as much fun as this is, I'd rather be fighting, you know, fighting for a position than just lapping the field. Yeah, Gumper, Lycan, Roof. Let me through! <laughs> blue flag? I not know what blue flag means. Boing. Off we go. Oh dear. Lock the brakes up there. Less than a minute to go then. There'll be one more lap after this. And we're on to the last lap. Mr. Huara. Oh, that's why. Despite the fact I'm on lap 11, still understeering off at that corner. Power! Error roots. Yeah, not how you're supposed to do that. <laughs> but I'll take it. Boing. Oh dear! Ow! <laughs> a tad over optimistic there. Whoa! Alright, check of lag is out. Whee! <laughs> and off. Only less than 14 seconds. I might have lapped quite a, a few of the fields. Again, that's more down to just suiting of track to car, but still only 13 odd seconds ahead of the next guy. Something like that. About four seconds on the fastest lap ahead of him. That's it for this episode. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Wow, it was actually uh, roof and liking up the top there. But again, that's all setup differences between these ones and these ones. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.